Last week, I had a heart-wrenching conversation with a daughter whose father was receiving palliative care. She was incredibly upset and angry. I could hear the frustration and pain in her voice. Her father was experiencing agonizing pain. The daughter had a reason to be angry. Her father's analgesia was not given on time, leading to hours of unnecessary suffering. It was a simple case of lack of coordination between the carer and the district nurse. But for this family, it was a matter of life and death. Imagine if you were in a similar situation. It can feel overwhelming if you haven't been told how to deal with an angry relative. You might not know what to say or how to respond. Learning how to deal with angry patients and relatives is a crucial skill for every doctor. Hi, my name is Dr. Owen Kwan. I'm a GP based in the UK. In this tutorial, you will learn how to manage angry patients and relatives effectively. Let's dive in. Imagine you're a doctor in a busy practice. Mr. Smith presents with excruciating pain. He has been waiting for weeks to get an appointment with you. The back pain has only worsened. The patient is frustrated and you can sense the anger as they lash out at you. What would you do? Tip number one, in this situation, it's crucial to understand Mr. Smith's perspective. It's helpful to separate the patient from his behavior. Angry patients are usually upset because they feel like their needs or expectations were not met. He is in pain and has been waiting for weeks, which can be frustrating. By acknowledging his feelings and putting yourself in his shoes, you can help ease his anger and build positive relationship. Patients were to be heard and understood. Listening to Mr. Smith's concern and asking clarifying questions to understand his point of view might help. You want the patient to know you care and understand where they're coming from. Now let's consider you're a GP and Mrs. Jones comes to you with poorly controlled hypertension. She needs long-term treatment. The patient is angry because she doesn't want to be on medication for the rest of her life. She yells at you and says that you're not doing your job properly. How would you handle this? Stay calm and professional. You don't want to feed into the patient's anger. It is essential to stay calm and professional. It might be useful to take deep breath to control your emotions before responding to Mrs. Jones. By remaining composed, you can avoid escalating the situation. You might say to Mrs. Jones, I can see you're very upset. Please help me understand the reason you don't wish to take medication. It's vital you consider your safety at all times. If a patient is being disrespectful or angry, you don't have to tolerate abuse. You could say to Mrs. Jones, I'm doing my best to help you. I've been treating you with respect. Could you please talk to me with respect so that we can work out a plan here? If you sense a patient is getting aggressive despite your best efforts to de-escalate the situation, make sure you have a clear exit. If you feel the situation is too heated, get out of the consulting room. It might be useful to seek support from a colleague. If you found this video useful so far, you might be interested to download a free copy of the SCA Blueprint where I go in much more detail how you can plan your preparation. Click the link down in the description below to download your free blueprint. Imagine you made a mistake while prescribing a medication to Mrs. Williams' three-year-old son. The mom comes back to you, visibly upset. She accuses you of being careless. She tells you that her son has suffered from side effects and demands that you fix the problem immediately. How would you respond? Apologize and offer solutions. It's important to apologize to the parent. Take responsibility for your mistake. This can go a long way to defuse a situation. Ask Mrs. William how her son is doing right now. Let the mom know what would you do to ensure this problem doesn't occur again in the future. Offering solutions such as alternative treatments or adjusting the medication dosage might help. You want to address a parent's concern and build a positive relationship. Imagine you're working in a busy clinic. You had to arrange an admission for two sick patients already, and you're running late. Your next patient has been waiting for an hour, and the appointment time has already passed. When you call him, he's visibly angry and demanding to know why you're always running late. What do you do? Manage expectation. A patient given an appointment at 10 a.m naturally expects to be seen at 10 a.m. or 10 ish. Running late is common when you have to arrange an admission. But if you're running late and don't communicate it to someone who is directly affected by it, they might feel you don't respect their time. Managing expectation is crucial. Consider asking your receptionist to let the patient know that you're very busy and there might be a long wait before you can see them. It's polite to offer an apology for the inconvenience cause. Most patients are understanding and won't mind waiting as long as they're informed. If a patient is unable to 
to waive due to another commitment, they can be given an option to schedule the appointment. Handling angry patients can be challenging, but with these practical tips, you can manage the situation effectively and maintain a positive relationship with your patients. Remember to understand the patient's perspective, stay calm and professional, apologize and offer solutions, and manage expectation. If you find this video useful, then I'm sure you're going to get a lot from watching this video. Click the video to watch it. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.